Howdy gang. In today's episode of Pool School, I am going to answer a question I seem to be getting a lot, and that is how to deal with a pool that has gotten cloudy. So what do you say we jump right in? Alrighty folks, first things first, I want to remind you to like and subscribe to this channel and please share this channel with your friends who have pools who might be looking to save a couple bucks servicing their pool themselves. Okay, so I have been getting this question a lot about a pool that has turned cloudy and unfortunately they're difficult to answer because there could be several reasons that a pool goes cloudy and that's what I'm going to talk about today. So I'm not going to actually go to pools that are cloudy. We're just going to go over the different factors that could cause a pool to get cloudy and then help you to sleuth your way through it and figure out what's exactly causing yours. Again, it could be one of those items or it could be a combination of them. So let's talk about some of the reasons your pool might turn cloudy. All right, before I go over some of the reasons, we have to come from a standpoint of assuming that your pool is functioning properly, all the equipment that you have is working as it should, and everything is functioning the way it should. So that is the first thing that we are talking about. We're not talking about a pool who's got a broken down motor or a messed up filter or things like that. We're talking about a system that is functioning properly and efficiently, okay? All right, so this is probably not an exhaustive list, but these are the things that I have discovered that have caused pools to get cloudy. And I'm gonna to try to give them to you in order of the things that I might do to find out why a pool is turned cloudy. Uh, because sometimes as you're sleuthing through it or going through the process of elimination, I want you to try and get to the things that would most commonly cause them to happen and then into the least common things. And again, there's not too many. I think there's, let's say there's maybe five. So uh, it's pretty simple. So let's go over them. Okay, number one your pool chemistry. So, very simple, get some test strips. I would suggest the AquaCheck Pro, or if you wanna test for the cyanuric acid levels, which brings us down to actually the fifth item, I'll talk about it in a minute, but if you have the AquaCheck Silvers, that will allow you to test the chlorine total, free chlorine, the pH, the alkalinity, the water hardness, and the cyanuric acid levels as well, and that can help you to establish whether you have old water or not. But for right now, you really wanna make sure that your total chlorine, your free chlorine, your pH, and your alkalinity are all at the ideal levels. That's super, super critical, okay? So that's the first thing you wanna test. If not, get those things taken care of, and I'm gonna post uh, a link to two of my videos. One is testing your water chemistry in the comment section. There's actually been a lot of things I'm gonna post links to because these are all things that I answer in a lot of my videos. So you can check those videos out if you need to in the comment section or the description of this video. So test your pool chemistry, make sure they're ideal levels. If not, get those levels up using the methods that I have in those videos. So that is number one. Number two, you want to make sure that your filter is clean and is running long enough, okay? And again, depending on what kind of filter you have, you wanna make sure that it is clean. If it is a sand filter, a DE filter, or a cartridge filter, I have videos that you can look at that will show you how to clean each one of those. And you also wanna make sure that your filter is running long enough for the season that your pool is in. So again, I have a video on filter run times, both the single speed pumps and the dual speed pumps. So please check that out if you need to, but you wanna make sure that your filter is running long enough and that it is clean and doing its job. So that is number two. Number three, make sure that the flow of water through your system is not impaired or impeded in any way. That means make sure there is enough flow from the suction side of your pool into the pump through the filter and then also enough flow on the return side of your system as well. So that is number three. Make sure that the flow is not impeded. Now there's a couple other reasons that flow can be impeded. You could have low water. If your water level is too low and it's dropped a low level of skimmer, you're going to be sucking air so you need to get that your pool refilled. But the other reason is you could have a full pump basket 
or and or a full skimmer basket. So make sure you check those baskets, the pump basket and the skimmer basket, and I do have videos on that and there'll be links to those below as well. Um, make sure that those are clean. And if not, clean those out so that the flow is not hindered in any way, shape or form. So that my friends is number three. All right, number four. And number four has to do with the food source for algae. And if you haven't seen my video on algae and algicides and why you don't need it, you don't know the answer to this yet, but it is phosphates. You're gonna to check to make sure that you don't have too many phosphates in your pool water. Now, there are phosphate test kits. I've had people ask me, how do you test for phosphates? And I honestly, I don't really use them because I maintain the phosphate levels and I kind of just use uh, my own um, guidelines and the guidelines on the product that I use. But the best way really to do it is to just take a sample of your pool water to a pool supply store. Don't let them convince you to buy a bunch of stuff and, tell, and don't let them tell you they're gonna test all these other things. Just tell them, I'd like you to test the phosphate levels in my pool and they should give you a measurement that is in parts per million or PPM, okay? And again, if your phosphate levels are too high, you're gonna to want to put in some phosphate remover and get those phosphates dealt with. But again, I have a video on phosphates and also on phosphate remover, and so you can watch as well. As well, All of these videos that I'm mentioning will be in the description below this video as well. So number four, phosphates. All right, the fifth, <coughs> excuse me, and final reason that your pool might be going cloudy is that you have old water. Now this goes back to the chemistry testing that I said at point number one here. The cyanuric acid levels is probably the best way to test your water, the age of your water. At least that's what I do in Arizona and most of the guys that I've learned from and people that I've worked alongside have, have done as well. Cyanuric acid is basically um, a stabilizer or conditioner. It's called either of those two as well. And you need a certain level of cyanuric acid in the pool for the water molecules to be able to hold and maintain chlorine, okay? However, if those levels are too low, it will have a tough time holding and maintaining the chlorine levels. But if the cyanuric acid levels are too high, you will have the same issue. And again, I have a video on changing your water out, when and why, and that will be in the description below. And I talk about how that works and I kind of relate it to, uh, I relate it to kind of like hair follicles and coloring your hair. Anyway, so, if it's old water, like let's say the water's been in your pool for like seven years, it might be a good idea to change your water out because that's gonna help as well. It's also gonna help um, thin out the amount of total dissolved solids that you have in your pool, which is TDS. And I'm gonna do a short video on that in the future as well because I've had that request again. But again, checking your water, if it's old, if the cyanuric level acid is too high, and again, if you have the AquaCheck silver strips then that tests the cyanuric acid levels. And if it's too high, there's a possibility that your um, water could be turning cloudy because it's not holding the chemistry, especially the chlorine. So that's the fifth reason. Okay, so those are the five main reasons or reasons that I have discovered that tend to cause a pool to go cloudy. Again, number one, chemistry. Number two, filter, making sure it's clean and running long enough. Number three, the flow of water through your system, number four, phosphates, and number five, old water or excessive cyanuric acid levels in your pool. So as you go through this process, I'd start with number one and work your way through and see and know that sometimes it'll be a combination. So you could test the chemistry and go, oh man, my chlorine levels are too low and do that and also have a dirty filter and find that it's not working and your pool's still getting cloudy. Or it might clear up and then you have it get cloudy again and you go, oh, it's gotta be the chemistry because that was that's what it was last time. And you do that and the next thing you know, it's like, well, no, the chemistry's fine. Now what do I do? Well, maybe your filter's dirty. So it's a, it's a process of sleuthing it. And again, one of the things is the more you're on top of maintaining your pool, the less of these factors come into play. So if you're maintaining the chemistry of your pool and you're keeping your filter cleaned as scheduled, again, again you can go over my my um, the different kind of filters and my my videos on you know 
how often you should clean them, things like that. That'll help. And again, you're just kind of maintaining your pool. A lot of those things will be eliminated because you go, well, I know my chemistry is good or I know that I just backwashed my filter. Um, also, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to a sand filter, there are times when sand gets old and it's been in that filter for a long time and it becomes very hard so it doesn't filter anymore. So sometimes that could cause it, again, that's your filter medium has gone bad and you might need to replace the sand. So keep that in mind. But again, the more you know your pool and the more you service your pool, the easier it will be to dis discover these things, to just know that it's not always just one of those things. It could be a combination of those and it won't always be the same thing every time. Hopefully, if you are maintaining your pool on a regular basis and on a weekly basis, give or take, it shouldn't be going cloudy on you very often, if at all. So keep that in mind. Just a quick note on top of what I just said. When I was talking about a sand filter and the sand getting old, if you need to change it, or even like with cartridges, I have done videos on those, so it depends on, you know, people ask me, well, how often should I change the sand in my filter? Um, maybe three years, maybe five years, and you kind of have to, you know, it's based on situational stuff. Um, so you're gonna have to kind of keep an eye on it But if you watch my video on the different types of filters or watch my video on backwashing sand filters that will help you as well Plus if you have gone through all those other things and you have a sand filter and you've done everything else that I've mentioned on this list and it still doesn't Clear your pool. You might have to go. Okay. Maybe I've got a bigger issue. Maybe it's that my sand is is impacted and, and too old and it won't work anymore. And so in that place, it might you might have to have somebody come out. And usually a pool repair guy can come out and look at it and diagnose it and say, yeah, your sand is old, you need to replace it. And at that point, you can do that. So there you have it, folks. That is my hopefully short video on some of the reasons why your pool may go cloudy. And I hope it helps to answer those questions that so many of you have been asking me. So go through the process, go through the list, check everything out, and chances are one or a combination of those things is gonna clear your pool up for you. And then keep it nice and crystal clear during your swim season and beyond. So once again, I wanna thank you for watching. Remember, if you have any comments, you can post them in the comments section below this video, or as always, you can email me, and my email address will come across the screen here, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Also, because it's swim season and more importantly, because you own a pool. Remember, have fun, be safe, and always, 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 please watch your kids around water and I'll see you next time.